Okay, warning. This is going to be a bit of a rant. So I'm going to start with the principle that we all know. You've heard it a million times, million gazillion times that people do business with people and therefore your best product for your business, no matter what it is, is yourself. You've heard it. I've heard it. You know, I, right now I can hear you saying, oh, God, Lori, do we have to go through this one? I've heard it. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, of course. Well, I want to talk to you about why it's important. And this comes directly from an experience I had a couple of days ago. Uh, first of all, I was put into a group on Facebook, which, you know, I mean, don't do that to me, please, without asking me, hello. At any rate, I looked at the group and I thought, well, this could be a good thing to be involved with. You know, it's uh, people helping people with their Facebook posts. So I um, have been watching it for a couple of days. And I began to notice that ooh, probably 80% of the people in this group are involved with a particular business. So I was approached by one of the people um, about something um, about one of my posts. And we were talking. And I said to her at one point, you know, I'm not in that business. Is this going to be a problem, do you think? And boom, guess what? Oh, you don't even have to ask. I don't even have to tell you, really. You know what happened. She started pitching me her business. Did I ask for that? No, I didn't. I really didn't. I did not ask her to pitch me her, her business. Well, as she was talking, you know, there was one thing that she said that was kind of intriguing to me, so I asked one small question, and again, boom, I get the links. Now, I asked her a question about her experience with the business. I did not ask her for her links. I asked her what her experience was. I didn't get that. I got the links. So, do you know... Even if I were interested in that business, which I don't think I am, do you know I would not join under her? Why? Because someone has trained her to do to approach people that way. Someone has done her disservice by not letting her know that she is the product. You know, she's a nice person. Under different circumstances, um, she might have a business that I really am interested in, but if she's approaching me that way and not really coming from her heart and telling me her experience, I'm still not going to join under her because it tells me that her upline is doing her a disservice. And why would I want to join under an upline that encourages and supports that kind of approach? I just wouldn't. It's, it's really sad uh, I know she's struggling. I know she needs the money. You know, her family is, is relying on her, and I would love to help her out in other ways, but I'm not going to join a business under her at this point. Just not going to do it. And, and I, rant. This is a rant time. Uplines. Hello, you uplines. <sighs> Teach your people better, huh? Tell them don't tag people without their permission. Don't throw them in groups without their permission. Don't throw links at them without their permission. It's, it's simple, simple stuff. You know, she lost a potential downline. Maybe not in that business, but in the next business she joins, if I really liked it. But I, unless, unless something changes drastically, I'm not going to join under her. That's my rant for the day. And I'm, I'm directly talking to you upline folks. Teach your people better, please. Thanks. This is Lori.